Hello everyone, this is Rahul Bawar and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the interview questions that were asked in Flex Limited. So let us look at the questions that were asked in round one. And before we get started, let us thank our subscriber who has shared us his experience and questions so that it can help to others who are attending interview. So like you can see on the screen, it all started with the first question, tell me about yourself the one important question that we all have been facing from you know many days i think now so this question was again i think he answered well here he talked about uh, uh, his experience okay i think around uh, three to five somewhere around uh, his experience here and along with that he spoke about uh, his exposure on the work front on the client interactions and how the how the project happens and uh, what was his role and uh, how many reports uh, did he develop like that he just gave an overview on all of that so after this uh, the second question was majorly focused on client okay asking about client so whenever whenever you are writing anything uh, about the client please re read about them like understand uh, what they do or you know what is your project like that because objective of the project that you are specifying is very important for us to understand okay so first client comes and then for that client what is the work we are going to do like what kind of uh, dashboards are we going to build for them so have an answer ready for this because this is becoming important these days because in preliminary rounds what is happening is interviews are uh, interviewers are focusing more on project related questions so now if you don't focus much on this type of questions there is very high probability that in round one only he will catch you and you know he will eliminate you so have as many answers as you can about the project or prepare as much as you can about the project that will give you some very good hands-on i think our our youtube channel has all the information you need about the project specific information if you need anything do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely make a video on that next is again third one important question explain one complex scenario here guys now i have seen many situations or many scenarios where you know subscribers are emailing me or commenting me stating that you know they are unable to explain this scenario do let me know if at all you have faced such you know experience where you know when this question was asked you were unable to explain anything so guys i would like to suggest you all that whenever you get a question related to something like this complex scenario you can talk what you have implemented in your project that is something that is very important it need not be tough it need not be easy just talk about what you have implemented like you have implemented some functionality using parameter like user will select you know ytd and M mtd okay so that is one functionality according to you that you have created maybe according to you that is tough but according to the interview it might be easy that doesn't matter just speak about what you have implemented it can be using parameter it can be uh, you know your sheet swapping whatever it can or just do some googling and try to understand about that or you can talk about dashboard uh, design perspective also okay so whatever you feel you can talk about that and you can tell that you know that was a complex scenario for you to achieve in your project or it can also be related to your performance or you know uh, convincing client for a particular design all of this comes under scenario based issues 
okay so it is not necessary that whenever uh, an interviewer telling that explain make one complex scenario it need not be related to calculated field only it need not be related to one chart only so there are many issues we face you know as a developer in developers life cycle like i have spoken in my previous video do you know read that or do go through that video you will understand the pair areas that we have from development to deployment of reports so you can talk you can focus one area where you feel it is easy for you and you can talk about that from development to deployment you can choose any area that you feel is easy for you and you can talk about that as one complex scenario okay so that is what i can suggest you for this one of the very important and critical questions here now how much data you have used again this is one common question that arises many times in interviews and many of our subscribers have faced this earlier as well so you can talk in terms of uh, lakhs and millions depending upon uh, the data sets that you have pra practiced so if you look at sample superstore i think it has only close to 10000 records but in real time we will have multiple tables that is for sure multiple tables uh, and uh, we'll be using custom sequels joins and uh, records in millions so these are a high probable data setup for uh, any tableau developer that you take in real time so you can remember these points and you can talk about them in the interview. Okay, I, I think this is one pretty generic uh, uh, question. Question uh, You can answer according to you know, what you feel comfortable. Next is how do you improve for performance, the dashboard performance and what are the steps you will take? Again, this is one important step that a developer should definitely know. See, development is one part, development, of report is one part is part one i would say so second part arises when part one is not completed or part one is not working successfully or part one has issues like that so when you were working in part one maybe uh like say there was only ten thousand records fine so you build according to that there was no issues but as you deployed the report you know maybe uh maybe you know the volume increased and you got now you know, 10 million or 1 million record now the performance started decreasing so client will definitely come back you and say hey rahul you know it is taking a lot of time to load the data now what do we need to do so for this always the first step is you know do a performance recording on the dashboard this will give you the next step that you need to take okay so first you need to do a performance recording this can be done at two levels one is your desktop level and another one can also be done from server level okay so do a performance recording on that and try to analyze the workbook that it creates performance workbook that it creates after your performance is done like say where is it consuming the maximum time is it to run the query, is it to render your dashboard, is it to evaluate uh, the query that you have created like that. So based on that, you will be able to make or take next steps in this. So I'm going to make a separate video on this, like how to improve dashboard performance, do watch it out. And uh, then once you see, once you do performance recording, so second question on this performance recording, uh, once you do a performance recording, we will see one window in that what will you observe is the question. Now, if you have done performance recording at least one time, you will be able to answer this question. Otherwise, you will become blank. So I will encourage you, all of you right now, open your Tableau workbook and do a performance recording. And as soon as you stop the performance recording, observe what you get. That is what the answer is for this. So technically, it will create a performance workbook, like I said, and you have to analyze that workbook. Okay, so that is your Brahmastra. Okay, to 
take next steps now seventh question is what is the difference between data blending and relationships so data blending is something that will come into picture when we are getting data from different data sources okay so not the same data sources but different data sources like say one is your excel another one is your sql and you are bringing in the data and to bring in data we need at least one common column so that we can establish uh, a relationship between them so relationship is like identifying what is the availability of my record in the other table how should i match that okay so that is what you know data blending and relationship is all and uh, we do blend on that so what how do you implement role level security explain step by step i think this there are different approaches through which we can apply or you know uh, implement a role level security if we have seen a detailed video on this please go through that that is really very important not only from interview perspective but also from a real time perspective so if you are implementing that kind of role level security in your project there are very high probability that you will get an appreciation okay so it is a real time case solver you can do it using a create user filter if the number of users are less or you can use a db approach to solve that or also you can create an excel file and you can do that so there are multiple approaches we can do that so i'll be pasting the link of this video do watch it out next ninth and the tenth question are two questions related to our sql now when is coming to sql assume that you know his analysis on you on tableau is completed now he want to judge you on sql a difference between joins and union okay so tell me what will happen in case of join and what will happen in case of union okay so i am asking you guys you can comment it in the comment section let me see what will happen technically at the back end when uh, we say jo join and union okay so do let me know it is very interesting question okay so difference between where and having so having is applied on a group by condition where is or uh, directly the first condition that we apply okay so that is something that we need to know on in this okay so if you need a specific answer on ninth question do comment it in the comment section if you are unable to answer i'll definitely make a interview if you are someone who is like say above four years or five years of experience then an understanding from you on this is expected in the interview okay see what is join or how many types of joins means anyone can answer but above that what are you uh, you know willing to answer how is it technically different what is happening to the data when you say join what is happening to data when you say union all this is what i'm going i, I want to hear from you all if you need a specific video on this do comment in the comment section and i think that's it from my side in this video see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day